Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July empties for you. I know that is part way through August, but July was a really crazy month for me. Um, just personally, I had a lot of like work things going on, so yeah. And if you and I also started vlogging in July, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and I will leave my link to my last vlog up there. So yeah, let's just jump into these empties because I have quite a few. Um, so the first thing I have pulling out of this bag is these um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Towel Cleansing Wipes. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I thought they were pretty good. I probably won't be buying them again because as I've mentioned before, I am trying to go cruelty free and Garnier is not a cruelty free brand, but yeah, they were pretty good at getting off the makeup. I still felt like my skin wasn't clean, but it did get off all the makeup, so that was a plus side. Next in here is my First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Um, I've had this before. I picked this up again um, and it was pretty good. I felt like it kept my face clean and kept me from breaking out, especially in this hot, hot heat. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think there was a bit of controversy about whether First Aid Beauty was really cruelty free, but if you guys actually know and could let me know, um, leave it down below in the comments. And yeah, so I will possibly purchase this again if they are so cruelty free. Next up in here is my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I really did enjoy the setting spray. It really helps, especially with my skin and keeping my makeup on, especially during the summer months when it's super hot and the heat index is like crazy. I think it's like 80 today with like heat at like 90% probably. But yeah, this is a really good setting spray. I really like the sprayer on it. Um, it comes into a really fine mist. Um, probably better than the any of the other ones that I have but I where was this I think they are partnered with Scandinavia so if you've had a Scandinavia spray before this is also kind of the same thing so yeah definitely would repurchase this again um and Urban Decay is a cruelty free brand I believe um next up in here is my Mayb Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 100 translucent as you can tell I've used it all up um, and this was like a beige translucent powder, so I thought it came off really nicely. Um, and I used it up pretty well in the last couple months. Um, I won't be repurchasing again because it is not cruelty free. And if you're wondering what this blue dot is, um, I did dot all of my makeup that is non cruelty free in order for me to try and help use it up faster or like use it up before I go into the cruelty free products. So yes, that is what those blue dots are. Next up in here is this Crest toothpaste. Um, this is a small size because I kept this in my travel bag and I just recently used it all up. And um, I don't buy these, I actually get these from my dentist. So yeah, I really enjoy these and will probably keep using these. Um, next up in here is my deodorant. I use the Natural Aloha Pit Balm. Um, this is like, you're supposed to use the fingers to apply but I think that's really gross so I just take like a spatula and gently apply it to my pits and rub it in um it is like a cream to oil thing so it does melt as i use it which is actually kind of annoying but yeah it lasted pretty long this is the um what is it the two ounce size that they regularly sell at stores i believe on their website you can sell they sell a jumbo size which i believe is like a four or six ounce um, but yeah, I haven't seen them, been to a trade show recently to see them. So yeah, I've only picked up the two ounce size. Next up in here is my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is what the packaging looks like. I thought this was really good for my brows and I really did enjoy it. Um, unfortunately, Benefit is not a cruelty free brand, so I won't be purchasing purchasing from them anymore. But yes, I did really enjoy this and I'm trying to find something that is comparable to this. Next up in here is my Juicy Couture perfume. Um, this was has been in several project pans, and I can't seem to get out the last little bit of it, which is right there. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy this, <coughs> and. 
and yeah I'm really glad that this is now out of my collection next up in here is my benefit bigger than bigger than BB BB cream um this is what the packaging looks like it was obviously a little bit bigger um as as you can tell I have used it all up um this was in the color 05 beige um as I've mentioned previously in this video I benefit is not a cruelty free brand so I did use this up because of that um and I'm also trying to work through several of my foundations before I go out and purchase it any more foundations as I throw things around um next up in here is this uh covergirl supersizer mascara I really do enjoy this but unfortunately covergirl is not a cruelty free brand um but yeah I thought this was pretty good um this is what the wand looks like yeah it's nicely like triangular with the pointy tips and yeah I enjoyed this so yeah very much looking forward to trying to find a comparable mascara um next up in here is my Kat Von D um ink liner in the color trooper I really did enjoy this I just finished this off recently because it finally started skipping but this is what the point looked like um it is a felt tip liner and I really do enjoy this and thankfully Kat Von D is a cruelty free brand Staying on the Kat Von D train, this is the lipstick in Bow and Arrow. This came in the sampler pack when I they sell a sampler of this color and the color um, the Urban Decay I, ink liner in Trooper. I used the ink liner up pretty fast um, and I still had Trooper. Um, I thought this was pretty cool it's a liquid lipstick this is what the color looks like it actually looks pretty dark on me um, and it's not as nudish as I would like it to be but I do like the formula so I'll probably pick up another color in the Kat Von D line Yay. Um, next up in here is this Pacifica dream light illuminating under eye brightener this was a concealer that I bought Pacifica is a cruelty free brand and I did enjoy this um, it comes with like this paddle applicator well it looks like that um yeah and I thought it was really fun so yeah I apologize with the lighting change I don't know what's up going on with that um next up is another concealer um this is the wet n wild concealer corrector in this stick form um, this is it all twisted up um, I didn't dig into it but that's what it looks like so yeah I really did enjoy this um, stick concealers are not really my thing though so yeah I'm glad I tried it out um, next up in here is this L'Oreal Mat metal matte matic eyeliner um, this was in my Justice League panning challenge and as you can tell I did use a chunk of it up and then it broke and yeah it was just time to get rid of it but yes I did enjoy using it um it kind of sucked that it broke um, when I was part of the way down and didn't get to finish it all but no I won't be repurchasing this again because L'Oreal is not a cruelty free brand either um, I do have a contact case because you're supposed to change your contacts cases every month to prevent bacteria um this is a uh, next up in here is an argon oral treatment that came um with a hair dryer i bought and i used it all up um there is a little bit of liquid in there that didn't quite get out i thought it was pretty good for my hair but i can't really tell because i only was able to use it really once um next up in here is this milani bella ivory eyeshadow um it cracked out of this pan um ow. let's see if i can open this yes it cracked out of this pan and this is what the pan looked like it was a satin eyeshadow it says gel but and then i repressed it so you will see that in my next video which is probably a pan that palette update video um but yeah i have almost finished it out of my pan that palette so yeah and the last thing in here is my 
Evil Tools Beauty Blender. I really like this beauty blender. I liked how fluffy it was and squishy. Um, the only thing is, I get really weirded out with my beauty blenders, especially when there's a lot of cracks like that in it. Makes it look really, really gross. Um, and then I felt like because of all the cracks, like the foam or whatever this is made out of, um, starts to peel off on your face but yes i have been using this to apply my makeup recently it comes in i got it in a two pack so it came with this color and then like a neonish greenish yellow color so yeah i use this i like this um i've been using beauty blenders to apply my makeup recently and i felt like it's been doing a good job so yeah that is all that was in my july empties i hope that you guys enjoyed it please keep up with me on social media and yeah i will see you guys in another video bye